So you want to know if hydrogen peroxide can treat skin cancer. Well, in this video, you're going to learn all about hydrogen peroxide for skin cancer and its ability to treat some other skin lesions. Welcome to Health Drum. I'm Dr. Bert Vorstman, a urological surgeon and former researcher. And this channel is all about routine medical conditions, self-care and digital health, so you can be informed and in control of your health care needs. If this is your first time to the channel and you want to know all about good health, go ahead and subscribe. Like you, many others are interested in digital health, so feel free to reach out with an email or hit the comment section below. By the way, Health Drum is for educational and informational purposes only and not a substitute for professional medical advice. The links to the disclaimers and the material in this section are in the description below. Okay, so let's get into it with a summary of what this video is about. So the most common cancer is skin cancer. And here we're talking about non-melanoma skin cancer, and in particular, basal cell skin cancer and squamous cell skin cancer. We will talk about treatment options, treatment consequences, self-care with hydrogen peroxide, and other uses for hydrogen peroxide. So what are some of the causes of skin cancer? And how do basal cell and squamous cell skin cancers normally present? So basal cell and squamous cell cancers are the most common cancers. Mostly they're due to sun exposure and more common with increasing age. And you can see them as sort of reddish scaly type areas sometimes. And some of them can be a little sensitive or even uncomfortable. By the way, the skin cancer industry is enormous with a market of about $2.6 billion in 2023. So most people would have seen a dermatologist previously and are fairly comfortable understanding how these lesions present. They would have had some of them frozen off, but there are some other treatment options and we're going to just go over them right now. Here's a list of typical treatment options for non-melanoma skin cancers such as basal cell or squamous cell from cryo or freezing to topical chemo such as 5-fluorouracil, photodynamic therapy, radiation or excision such as using Mohs surgery. Another concern is that these basal cell and squamous cell cancers continue to develop periodically and will require attention or monitoring and then treatment. So the periodic recurrences of skin cancer comes with costs, but there are some other consequences for patients that they want to consider. So basal cell and squamous cell skin cancers tend to recur. So people have to make recurrent visits for checks and treatments. And these recurrent visits have consequences in terms of treatment costs, visit costs, and time taken off from work to get treated. And then there are potential side effects of treatment. So many people with recurrent skin cancers like basal cell or squamous cell are comfortable with diagnosing their condition and want to know if there's anything that they can do themselves in the way of self-care to limit their treatment costs. So you can buy the high concentration hydrogen peroxide online quite easily. Any of the concentrations between 33 and 40 percent are useful. It can be applied to the area in question with a cotton ball or a Q-tip. Usually you only need 45 to 50 seconds until blanching is seen. You may see some tiny white speckles to the treated area and you may feel a little burning. The burning can actually last for 10 to 15 minutes. Usually you apply the hydrogen peroxide once or twice a day for two or three days or a few more. And usually the area in question will disappear without any scarring or blemishes. Self-care obviously is very affordable and very convenient. So how does hydrogen peroxide actually work on these skin cancers? So many cancers like skin cancers shift from oxidative metabolism to glycolic metabolism or utilization of glucose, making them much more sensitive to the effects of hydrogen peroxide. 
So are there any possible side effects from using hydrogen peroxide on the skin? So remember, we're talking about high strength, high concentration, food strength, or industrial strength hydrogen peroxide, and not the hydrogen peroxide that you buy at the corner drugstore. The high concentration hydrogen peroxide is between 33 and 40%. You can buy that online and it's very affordable and costs less than an office visit. It also comes in light resistant containers. If you're allergic to hydrogen peroxide, of course, don't use it. Also, do not ingest it, do not inhale it, and do not put it in your eyes. Also, it's important to realize that its effectiveness decreases with time. So the bottle only lasts for a period of six to seven months. And it's also light sensitive, so you've got to keep it in the dark. So does hydrogen peroxide have any other uses on the skin? So high strength hydrogen peroxide can also be used on skin tags and for seborrheic keratoses. The number of applications and time frame needed for their treatment depends on the size of the area to be treated. Also rarely there may be complications of scarring and pigment changes, but these are very uncommon. So by now you've probably wondered why you haven't heard of high strength hydrogen peroxide before. So there's two big reasons why you probably haven't heard about high concentration hydrogen peroxide for superficial skin cancers. And that's because healthcare is financially driven and self-care is not profitable for physicians. So has hydrogen peroxide been FDA approved for any skin conditions? So hydrogen peroxide is FDA approved for treating seborrheic keratoses. However, by now you will realize there's enough proof of concept for more hydrogen peroxide studies on basal cell and squamous cell skin cancers for downsizing bigger squamous cell cancers to make surgical removal easier. And it may be possible to treat other squamous cell cancers such as those on the anus, cervix, penis, and for human papillomavirus or HPV. By the way, links to these articles are in the description below. So let's recap in this video about hydrogen peroxide. You learned that it can be used for both basal cell and squamous cell skin cancers, for seborrheic keratoses, for skin tags, and that it's inexpensive and relatively safe. To learn more about other routine medical conditions, self-care and digital health, check out some of these other videos.